Hey guys, this is Marina Latojaca from Phantom Elite and Exit Eden and I'm here to talk about my favorite band right now who is Ice Nine Kills! Okay, wow. So much to go into that, Marina. So, really? um, an, let's call it a newer band. I mean, obviously they've got some releases now but compared to the judas priests and the iron maidens of this world right right right, right. yes i mean they've they've been around before they got yeah. recognized yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and yeah. now now things are blowing up for them really uh right they're, they're, right. they're playing european festivals right now as we're talking yes. so let's start at the start how did you discover this band this is um that's why i said it's also my favorite band right now because i have this thing that every couple months i discover a new band or i just get really into a band that i already liked before but then i get obsessed with it yeah, yeah, yeah. that's been happening with ice night kills for the last months i don't know how long but that's the thing i did not know them properly until this year yeah. so the beginning of the year oh wow so you are relatively due to this band right exactly because i did not care for them i heard the name and i honestly found it so silly and i found it confusing with nine what nine inch nails yep. and i was like what's this band about and i was just like annoyed by the name <laughs> and i constantly avoided anything that had to do with them. And then I heard it a couple times on Spotify, you know, on playlists, metalcore playlists. And I was like, this is a nice song. And then I checked the artist, I was like, wow, it's the, that band with that weird name. Then I let it be. And then, you know, it was something like, by repetition, I started getting more and more interested until they released their um, video this year for, what's the name of the song again? Welcome to Horrorwood. And I saw that there was quite some buzz around it being like not like censored by YouTube. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. We were also shooting the Apex, which was a video that is like 18 plus on YouTube. And I'm into some gory stuff. So I was like, okay, let me watch this. And I was hooked instantly right away. I watched it and I was just like, I gotta know everything about this band right now. They've released quite a few albums already. There are some non-album singles that were pretty big too, and they've got the hits. Um, right. Is Welcome to Horrorwood and some other of the hits, is that where we're going to find your three picks or are you more for deeper yep. cuts? Is Let's start with Welcome to Horrorwood. Is that one of your three songs? I think it is. I think it is. I think it has to be. I think it's a very good showcase of, you know, like all the over the top, eccentric stuff, theatrical, heavy, just completely crazy and very thematic. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, in a way, um, uh, it's also a band that, yeah, you mentioned, like, I don't know, I found them on, you know, new metal core playlists and, and, and so on. Right. But it's also a band that is not afraid to do things differently. And in some cases, um, for a metal band, taking a chance is actually being allowing yourself to be a little bit more poppy and a little bit more accessible at times and combining things that are usually not combined. Um, it's stuff that with, you know, Phantom Elite, you also like to do. So exactly. is it just that you find yeah. a lot of yourself in this band? Absolutely. I think so. I think so. It's a lot of things that I, uh, that I identify with as an artist or what I actually like to, to see and hear. I mean, I like many other artists that, are, that have a completely different take on art 
right. Gojira, Meshuga, you know, like they're completely different bands. But I think Ice Night Kill speaks to what I, I don't know, I feel a little bit less alone in this world and a little bit less schizophrenic <laughs> when I hear a band like that. Like, you know, they're not afraid of being silly. They have the silliest theme in the world, you know, like just right. horror movies. But it's so fun, you know, and metal can also be fun. And their songs are just good songs, you know, they, they and they, they are definitely not afraid of doing weird stuff in their music. So, yeah, to me, it's a, it's a very good, um, it's a very good formula altogether that speaks to me personally as a consumer and as an artist, so. So if we were to shift some gears and go to, which I, I, I understand as a fan, especially a newer fan, you're probably overwhelmed when I ask you like, hey, I just want you to talk about three specific songs because you probably want to talk about 30. But um, if I do force you to, 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 to pick a second song that for you in your journey in discovering this band really stands out, which one, which one would that be? Um, I think it's funeral derangements, also from the from the latest album. Also, just like uh, Welcome to Horrorwood, um, a single, but which yes. is almost not an, which is almost not special with Ice Nine Kills, because I think that almost every song in their second album was a single and. You also do get yes. the feeling that this was very much a planned approach where they, they were trying to make, you know, every song be a hit, if you will. Um, yes. And you yes. can, it, it's, a, it's, it's not always easy to do that in a concept. If you do a concept where every song is kind of like unique, but, but fits into one, one whole, you can do that if you're telling more like um, a front to back story where every song tells an element that's a little bit more difficult. Um, exactly. For when you're thinking about your own creativity, you already shared that, you know, you connected with the fact that um, just like you, these guys don't care too much about the rules. They like to try some different unique things. Yes. After, um, you say you only discovered them a year ago, so probably there wasn't too much of an influence on your latest album because that was also in the making for a while. No, no. Do that you is, see an influence now? I think I see a parallel. I mean, there wasn't an influence because there was nothing to, to influence then, but I yeah. definitely see some coincidences. Um, for example, we also have a pretty... I mean, given the budget differences, obviously. <laughs> We have a, a pretty, let's say, cinematograph, cinematographic approach mm -hmm. to our singles, you know, in, in Blue Blood, at least. Like, it's exactly what you described, and it felt like you were describing what we did with our singles, you know. There's right. not really a clear story from back, you know, from front to back. There is one universe that is, you know, an overarching theme. And each one of our videos, singles that we made videos from, um, are quite specific in their, you know, in their uh, visual identity as well. Crazy coincidences. So yes. let's uh, let's let's make the the the, the picture complete. Um, I think you already sure. kind of gave away that the third song comes from the Silver Scream. Yes. Which, which one are we going with? Well, not really from the Silver Scream. It comes still from Welcome to Horrorwood because, okay. well, best album. There you go. I think maybe it's just the, the album that I listen to the most because I've just, I, I don't know, to me, it is the best album. Mm -hmm. It's up there with the Silver Scream, obviously, but um, yeah, I was in doubt between two, so can I actually mention two? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so the one that I would pick is, uh, is a song that I actually got to cover a little bit on my social media channels, which is Hip To Be Scared. It's just funny and it's great and it's just 
it's just amazing. I, I find it very good. Before we dig into that one more, what would have been that other um, uh, honorable nomination that you wanted to give? It's one that is not a single, and it's called Farewell to Flash. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yes. Awesome. So is, is it then also, the, because let's be honest, um, Ice Nine Kills is a band that whether like whether you like their music or not, let's leave that in the middle. Um, it's a band that absolutely amplifies the music with the imagery, with the theme, with the videos, the live shows. Yes. Like the, Ice Nine Kills is more than records. It's like, you know, the whole package. It's the whole package, absolutely. It, is that then also one of the reasons why Hip To Be Scared, which was a single uh, with um, Jacoby from Papa Roach uh, as well, yes. that that for you just kind of stands out more because that gets the full Ice Nine Kills treatment? I think I We're think digging so. deep in your psyche here. Like. Yes, <laughs> you are, you are. I have to really think about it. But absolutely. Also, I have had the pleasure of seeing them at uh, Graspop, actually, this weekend. So Last, we were both Friday. there and we didn't say hi to each other. No! You saw, you got to see them live. So grass, you yes. saw the grass pop. Was this the first time you get to see them? Actually not. I have to admit, I bought, as soon as I like found out the band and I was obsessed about it, I heard that they were doing an European tour. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I gotta go. And I got tickets for the two in, uh, in in Oberhausen, mm -hmm. here in Germany. And, uh, but I must say, man, that concert was just not the best experience because of the venue. The venue is huge. It's just huge. The sound was absolutely awful. And like, I could hear nothing distinctively. I was way in the back because I'm not a front rower. I don't care. I want to hear the band and I want to see kind of because you know it's Ice Nine Kills you have to see what they're doing on stage as well sure. but I couldn't hear and I couldn't see I just I was just way in the back and I it was more like like I I don't know I, I would rather watch YouTube instead of <laughs> you know having that experience where I couldn't see anything and I yeah. couldn't hear distinctively but it was great because their opening band actually became you know one of my finds of the last month skinned which is also a great band and i can only recommend the show at grass pump was more um to your liking um yes any absolutely i could hear everything that was a uh, that was very satisfying as a musician to be able to hear the instruments properly. Yeah, yeah. now you are yourself a very, very experienced musician and artist, and you've been on many stages. Um, yeah. n nevertheless, um, seeing them perform, you know, the way they should be performed on a big stage with good sound and, and all that kind of, you know, all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Um, any, any takeaways or any lessons that you're like, hey, this is something that. I could learn from? Oh, a lot. Oh my God. They, I think, um, I think Ice Nine Kills is a very uh, business smart band. Mm -hmm. And in every way, shape or form, there's something I can learn with them, you know, about the business. And they're also Americans and they're just, yeah, they, <laughs> they just know what they're doing. If there's a lot to learn, but one thing that I really did learn that I paid attention on purpose was to see how they do the mask changes on stage. Okay. Because Phantom Elite has one mask on stage. <laughs> and every time we do that song, well, Apex with the masks, we put the mask on, we have the, we, we just have the impression that it comes across as a little bit clunky. <laughs> okay. And we're, I was wondering, like, how do they do it? What's the right day, right way of 
you know, doing a mask switch on stage or just putting on a mask. And I've learned that they basically do the same, but better. <laughs> they just turn their backs, put on the mask, and there is like an intro going on in the back. And I think that at Class Pop, of course, there was daylight and they couldn't dim the lights and they couldn't, you know, do anything yeah. about fog nor anything. So we did look a little bit like what we do. So I was like, it's just basically the same that we do. But they have just a longer intro and people's attention is not on their them putting the masks on. Marina, tell us a little bit, you know, Phantom Elite, obviously you had the album out earlier this year. You've done some touring already, um, but we're only halfway through the year. And then there's another year, another year, and another year, and another year. So what's going on in Phantom Elite world that we should know about? Right, so um, in September and October, we are supporting Blackbriar and Ad Infinitum on a European tour. Um, it's gonna be Belgium, not Belgium, I, no, sorry, Germany, Switzerland, and oh my god, what's the other one? Netherlands, of course. So we're only gonna be doing these countries for I think 10 shows, but, but we're looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome. The sales are, I think, going pretty well, and so great venues, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And Looking forward to it. So that, that's what we have scheduled for now. And after that, well, there are plans, more plans and more tours, but obviously I can't share them yet. Just yet. Just not yet. Not yet. Exactly. The only thing we know is that by the end of the tour, the mask changes will be so smooth that nobody... Smooth. Gets that's, I will try my best. Although we do not have smoke and we do not have a light technician, so... They might be just as clunky as before. Maybe you just have to go like, hey, everybody, look over there. And I over there! <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm going to do. Marina, it's always such fun talking to you. Um, Likewise. Thank you, so much. thank you so much for, uh, you know, opening the door a little bit and showing us um, who you as a person really like and now everybody knows which specific songs of Ice Nine Kills you should check out to fall completely in love with that band. Yes! Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much for your Absolutely. time today. I really appreciate it. And like I said, I hope we get to see you on a stage soon. And we heard you yeah. say absolutely not Belgium and also not Canada just yet. So we'll have to come to Germany, Austria or Netherlands, correct? Switzerland. Switzerland. Or Netherlands. All right. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, Marina, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was and fun. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.